so sad. Can we can we at least get a can we at least have an update for for when that one ends? Yes, I'll I'll, I'll let you know. Thank you. All right, and it is there in the corner in case anyone else well, wants. Not, not, well, for, no, them. not, not for, for them. Not for them. Not for them. them. Okay, just for us. Okay, just for us. Here, yep. So we can update you. Correct. We're jumping into the full screen mode here as we get in winner semifinals. John numbers Aster, we fit trainer for zero suit. John might be coming uh, to mash harder for, with me in Boston in a couple weeks, a tournament for which Mars is actually signed up. So this could be a potential preview of what's in store there. Yeah, Mars has been on Twitter being like, I, I don't know, should I go to my locals? I don't know, he might be back. Bro, that man, that man somehow farms him deciding to enter locals again. <laughs> for content. He's yeah. a genius. <laughs> Absolutely. That man knows how to get paid. Yeah. And John Numbers is getting paid at ledge like he usually does. Yes, sir. But ZS has a character that can certainly threaten you, right? Make you uncomfortable out there close to the blast zone. And she's going Ooh. to make it happen. But recognizing that those iframes don't carry all the way through, right? John very smartly stuffing it out, forcing the anti airs and saying, Zia says, you can move around me all you want. You just can't get the hits that are actually significant unless I miss DI. That dash attack back here, only true on the DI in. But John still able to get caught by it when he was not expecting. Yeah. And Zero Suit taking a stock at 100, that would have, that's what they dream of right there. But it just wasn't enough. I we're think still seeing some phenomenal Zero pressure. Zero Suit linking more than a straight hit is what they dream of. Yeah. But the only straight hit you're going to find right now is that forward tilt from John Numbers as he finds the first stock against all odds on that one. The forward air pressure not gonna get punished just yet, and the scramble though, gonna go Aster's way. This is the opportunity you're looking for, getting a little over aggressive and dropping through there, that landing getting caught out. Yeah, and the more that John Numbers racks up this damage, the more Aster is gonna start sweating. And, you know, try to find it with an upbeat, oh, and he does. Just, just want to remind everybody, they nerfed how fast that move comes out, out too, right? It used to be frame four out of shield, it's now frame six. So it's a worse out of shield option now, but it's still very strong indeed. That dash attack as well, going through the soccer ball. But DSS has tools to really make Wii Fit uncomfortable. Yep. She has tools to trap landing from distance and, and lock down a lot of DSS's movement. But in turn, right, DSS has some scary stuff to do to her back. It's a lot of movement in this matchup, a lot of picking and choosing your spots. And really, nobody gets better is better at these patient waits into a brief scramble into a patient wait than John Numbers. Yeah, John's doing a really great job of catching the end of those flip kicks, making sure it's just, oh, I can't, that down tilt just absolutely annihilated him. But just making sure that when he's flip kicking in, he's not getting hit by it, he's actually punishing. It's gonna make Aster think twice. Yep. And I love that falling up here into the flip kick. He was cooking, but John recognizing a little too close on the nair, not spaced right. Gonna oh. DI in, and that's gonna be it. That could have been death too, but again, the positioning on the soccer ball. John is 9,000 IQ on this defense to survive. I've one of the gutsiest deep breathings in the world as well to potentially reversal this into a stock and oh. steal it all away. Are you kidding me, John? Numbers. You can't park there, Aster. You can't park there. But there's no grass, man. <laughs> there's no grass. Where do you park? You, you can't park you on can't the grass. Can't park there. Yeah, you can't man. park on that platform. It's like it's because there's grass on battlefield. Yeah. You can't <laughs> park on battlefield, man. Sorry, get out of here. Oh man, does that up smash have a tipper? I I want to say it does. Yeah. It I looks like it. It has a sweet spot in the sour spot for sure. If it doesn't, John just manifested it. Yeah, yeah. This, he, he can do that. This one. John. This one John is. Smash. John is the Smash Bros. As Neo is to the Matrix. He will yeah. just reach in and change the code in real time. Mm. He is just built that different. Speaking of built different, once you deep breathe, you're built different. But Aster does not care. Oh, see, catching that flip kick, it's just not safe. John just knows too much. I'm speaking of though, catching the vol. Aster starting to catch. These buffered habits locked down, right? The punish time and time again, and putting John into these tech situations. And you can tell he's conditioning and he's taking note of these tech options. He's punishing them accordingly, but John mixing it up, right? Realizing, hey, soccer ball sends down. So you think I'm going to tech and I DI up and away? I actually can find a lot of punishes of my own. That game one, it seems that was for the download. Oh, game was, two is where we started. The low profile the, under the grab. The yep. 9,000 IQ. Ooh, you're gonna read this with a grab, so I'm just gonna land and crouch is so gutsy. Because yeah. if they just F tilt you, like Astro's been doing the whole set, that's just a huge punish, Johnny. Yeah, one of the funniest crouches in the game. It's so fun watching it be practically applied. That was sick. And that yeah. was, I was gonna say, that was so smart. She's throwing out the paralyzer because you know John's gonna swing, puts him in hit lag, 
and that means you gotta find the grab punish. Like, both these players, win or lose, are playing so out of their minds creatively right now, and just like, finding weird little uh, ability Ooh. to optimize. And, you know, at the end of the day, Plasma Whip, Soccer Ball, Active <laughs> Hitbox, that one seems like it had hurt. Yeah, absolutely, and I wanna know who picked this music. Probably John. Probably John. This sounds like John music. This I'm sounds like John lie. music. That being said, it is Aster's counterpick, so theoretically it should be Aster's turn. Yeah, but it looks like Aster's got earbuds. John's wired in. So John but is always locked and loaded, man. He's oh that not enough! John has to load up a deep breathing back air and take the stock instead. So, or just you know not hit you literally <laughs> across the the stage, right? Like this man is trying to turn ZSS into Magellan right now. Yeah. The way he, she's trying to find this stock on Zero Suit Samus, but John is not able to do it yet. And Aster starting to lock down potentially a huge lead here, especially a ledge. Numbers recognizing against ZSS, especially one wrong button, and you just die in that situation. Game one was the download. Game one was the download. He's applying it to game two, and now it's John's turn to adapt. The difference between de being down a stock and 60% versus 60% or 80% here, especially when you're John numbers, is ginormous, mm -hmm. right? This lead, losing that one stock, got so much less comfortable, even though you are incredibly satisfied with oh. the extra credit, but the paralyzer on the soccer ball, recognizing that it doesn't put you in yeah. in the lag, just the, the hit stun, and that you can then just do another one. Yeah. Like, again, Aster is like, locked in this game. I've never seen him play like this. Yeah. And I think if you were to add up every player in the world's time at ledge, that John Numbers would have the most time spent hanging at ledge. But Aster, uh, you he knew. You, you forget for all Meta Knight. <laughs> no, that doesn't count. This is for ultimate. Okay, yeah. fair, fair, fair. Yep, yeah. you got yeah. me there. Yeah. You got me there. Yeah, so, so but Aster didn't care. Eat a down smash. I know that soccer ball is not hitting me. Easy up B. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that man, almost killed. Just the crazy paralyze. He has locked in on John Numbers' roll habits right now. He has called out every roll in what, every single time. And even though ZSS is fantastic at finding these spikes, you can see him looking to line up, forcing the air dodge out. He's looking for it, but not going to commit. And his inability to edge guard John Numbers, if John finds a way to win this game, is going to be his undoing. He oh, hasn't been able oh. to do it once. And Trying to lock in on the roll, but John locking it down. That's it. But he's gonna have to do it in game number three. Yeah. Wow. What? Download complete. This whole set. You know what? You know what? As sad as I am that we didn't see the end of the Dimitri set, which, based on what's happening off stage and that there's a Mario on stream, it looks like uh, Devin. Twite Arc advanced. I was gonna say Twite. It does look like Twite Arc advanced, leaving Dumpling King as the sole again in representation, left in bracket once again. Because he was so close. Look, I'm an unbiased really commentator. And horseshoes and hand <laughs> no, no. We no. are unbiased. We're unbiased, but at the same day, man, Ganondorf. Rooting for low tiers is unbiased. That's like, you are unbiased. See, people say I'm not allowed to do that because I'm a snake player, but I also say I'm a little Matt Co-Main. Yeah, there like, you go. Just because you don't see him in bracket, because it's always optimal to play snake. I actually put more time outside of bracket in a little Mac than I do snake. Yeah. Yep. You know, John Numbers and Ledge, they should get married. Because, man, he just hangs out there Yo, all day long. Wedding ceremony at the last Dino Yo. between John Numbers and Ledge? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Who would propose first? I think Ledge. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> that being John getting put in a dangerous situation there, but Aster not willing to commit. You can tell Ooh. by outside of numbers what we fit trainers are you playing at this level. We mm. haven't had there's been other ones like Louis Jesus here in the past, but they just haven't been active recently, right? Aster hasn't had that recent practice that's outside of John and you can oh. tell that sometimes he's just a little unsure of where to punish some of these situations. If he hit that soccer ball, the bounce back, back into Bro. him, I would have gone We've crazy. We've seen John hit that so many times that it, like, that, and I'm almost more surprised he's not hitting them right now. Mm. Like, to me, that's the interesting thing is part of it's DSS, but after there's also has been legitimately really good at, been really good at playing around a lot of ZSS, ZSS or sorry, we fit aggressive tools as DSS. Yeah, and hey, Sick. we're lucky. We're lucky. We're witnessing another great set right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, he's not going to be able to recover from that. No, nope. oh, no, and that was so unfortunate. Right, getting caught out of the flip kick in disadvantage is just where DSS is never want to be. Provides so much extra flexibility and that get out of disadvantage tool for each card that so many characters desperately want. John getting put in the tag on platform, that could have been huge 
but the early back of that delay on the tackle from number is so smart is what's allowing him to hold on to this one. Yeah, and what's awesome is game one, we saw John get the win. Aster saw what he did, made adjustments, conditioned better, and took the win. And now we're seeing numbers dominate well, here after adjusting to Aster. And part of that too, though, is that he wasn't even dominating the way. It's just this matchup is so dependent on who gets that first lead. Because if Weavit just has to chase down out, out DSS the entire way through, it's so hard to struggle because you're forced to res for ZSS just because she has to just run in as you as well. Both these characters want to play that defensive gameplay, utilize movement, utilize awkward positions and relative to the rest of the cast, whether they want to play the game in, to just catch you off guard, right? Bait you around and then find these hits. But when you force them to rush you down, they kind of can struggle, and that's what Aster's finding himself oh. in right now. That even at 160, still just not able to close it out on numbers. And once he does, he has two more stocks to do it with. And a little while ago, when John was at 120, we saw Aster hit his uh, his neutral B, his stun gun, right, and he ran through John numbers. Oh no, that's oh. it. That's it. He just he buffered a neutral air dodge early and didn't fast fall it or anything, and John just just went out and caught it. It was just an unfortunate lapse at the end of the day from what truly was a fantastic yeah. set, some fantastic set gameplay here from Aster. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it doesn't take the whole sun salutation. Nope. Maybe sometimes, it's just the smallest sun in the solar system. You yeah, know? sometimes, man, it just gets unfortunate. Beautiful wall jumps, by the way, like we mm. saw there from Aster to find these routes back and Ooh, the call out. Sniper. Right, we're talking John hasn't been hitting them. The second he does, it's the most dominant game mm. of the set. Aster here. By just keeping those hands warm, keeping mm. the you guessing and the plasma whip again, the hitbox covers so so much. Mm. But yeah. earlier, when John was at like 120 and Aster hit the neutral B and he ran through John and then B reversed from the other side to get him closer to the blast zone, and my mind was like blown as he he actually knew he had the time to do all that and then executed it. It didn't kill, it just missed, but it would have been sick.